got six. Miami's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Nelson kicks to Johnson. Here's Bargnani. It's hauled in by Adams. You know, something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound totals are, are almost identical. No separation there. Not yet, anyway. Lynn dishes to Covington. Pass to score. Just five on the clock. Here's Adams. And it's all evened up. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. Well, it's become one of the stories of the first half, Clark, just piling up points in the thing. Butler goes in. Back to Nelson. Kid Gilchrist again. Butler. But he need to get a shot off. Johnson gets the bucket. The Hawks have gone 8 of 14 in the second quarter on field goal attempts. Covington passes to Lynn. Covington kicks to Adams. Outside, Kid Gilchrist. Lynn dishes to Scola. The Hawks working the ball around. Covington passes to Kid Gilchrist. Passes it to Scola. Can't get it to go. And Miami the other way now. Nelson outside. From deep three-point range. He had to clear some space for himself to get that rebound. Not easy in there among the big bodies. And Kid Gilchrist kicks to Scola. And it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. And Brooks has checked in. For Miami. 55 seconds left from the first half of basketball. Atlanta was a team that would end the year with a very strong record at home, as we saw, but Steve, you wouldn't expect that if you looked at their point differential here in this building. Yeah, there weren't a lot of blowout wins for them here at home, but they were able to squeak out enough of the close ones to make it count. Now a timeout called by Miami. Jared Dudley's checked in for an Teague comes in for Jeremy Lin. And so here is Miami. And Luis Scola gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. 51 seconds left to play in the first half. Brooks kicks the butt. Back to Brooks. It's stolen by T. That is one of the more difficult passes to make. He had a very narrow gap to squeeze it through, and he couldn't get it done. You know, regardless of who starts the break, it seems like he's usually the one to finish it. And that's because of how well he attacks the rim on the dead run. Now, here is Barnyan. Miami no good on that time either. Butler again. It's T to the right side. Dudley dishes to T. And here is Dudley with one on the clock. Oh, and the buzzer beaters good. And a night. And a tight game here as we end the first half. Hawks lead by two. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out away here in the third. What can you say? Joe Johnson, an impressive effort here today. He is a dynamic scorer, guys. That much we know. And I'll tell you what, his talent was on full display there in the first half. Steve, he is a hard man to keep down. And so far, they've been unable to do it. The third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. Tremendous output from Johnson. He's got 11 points. 
and he's chalked up one three-pointer on the day as well. Now, a lot of times, he's one of those players who can get hot and stay hot from the three-point line. So I look for him to continue to search for shots out there. Here's who Eric Spolstra is starting the second half with. We've got Johnson. Jimmy Butler is out there with Brooks. And it's Vucevic. And it's Johnson in the four spot. The Hawks leading. Duncan with a screen for T. Dudley the best to T. Lock at six. Duncan with a screen on Brooks. T kicks to Duncan. Rebounded by Vucevic. Vucevic has got eight rebounds in this game. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Well, Kevin, the Atlanta Hawks, a team that looks to spread the floor with shooting. Coach Mike Budenholzer said, we don't want to just be a three-point shooting team. We want to get to the rim first. By creating that space, we give our guards and our bigs a chance to attack. If the paint is taken away, we'll look for our shooters. Good strategy, Kevin. Coach Bud coming from San Antonio, Doris. The Hawks trying to create that same kind of spacing. Stephen Adams from New Zealand, the first Kiwi Clark ever drafted in the first round. And Kevin, he played rugby growing up. He says that it helped him prepare for the physicality of playing in South. Vucevic. Vucevic with the bucket. Ah, the turnaround jumper. That was a thing of beauty. Over in the corner, Dudley. It's tipped. Butler with the steal. Dishes to Vucevic. Stolen by Doug. Teague with the ball. And it's Johnson picking him up. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. And Kid Gilchrist kicks to Teague. Shot clock at six. And there's the foul. It'll go on Aaron Brooks. That's foul number two for him. Man, one thing I like about Adams, and maybe it's the rugby background, he plays with so much aggression, but always keeps an even keel. He's the one who sort of initiates contact, and he becomes an irritant with his opponent, but he never retaliates, and that's real toughness. Broke out the finger roll, guys. That was kind of a stylish finish. Boy, you look at Steven Adams, he's got an impressive frame. You forget that he's only 21 years old. So he's got room to grow and to get stronger, both when you consider skill development and his physicality. He could really be one of the most imposing big men in the league for a long time going forward. And here's Dudley for three. Using his strength nicely there to ensure the rebound. Good work. And Brooks. Here we go. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. It's going to go on Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Well, you know, both of these teams certainly end the conversation when you talk about NBA dynasty. With two epic finals performances to show for it. Always a pleasure to watch these two teams face off. The Atlanta making some changes. Kufus checked in for Steven Adams. And it's Foy in for Jared Dudley. Now here's Teague. He's got seven. And Kid Gilchrist kicks to four. Here's Kufus. That one's off. Still out of sync. Four straight misses. They've got to find a way to get back on track. Outside Butler. Kicks it to Johnson. Goes up the baseline. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. And stylistically, the Spurs and the Heat at different ends of the spectrum, certainly, Steve. The Spurs averse to the glitter and the glamour. Yeah, whereas in Miami, you got the kind of techniques, the fog machines. It's star power all the way. And I, I think, in a way, the NBA kind of needs both approaches. They both have their place. And here are the Heat now, following the bucket by the Hawks. It's stolen by Foy. Here's T. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. And that almost feels like two buckets. 
coming off the steal like it did. And especially the fact that it ties the game, Clark. Uh, the lead was about to be stretched out, and instead, we're right back to even. Offensive rebound, and it's Vucevic missing. Well, what appeared to be an easy two points just never materialized. Here's Teague, and no good. Had a chance to take the lead. For Miami, they've gone two of six in the field here in the third. And the call will be against Jeff T. That's foul number two for him. Now here's Brooks. Six points for him. He didn't have to get off the ground very far for that one. The big man with the slant. Well, he makes up for any lack of athleticism with that tremendous size, Clark. Yeah, he's not exactly a smooth operator, but what he is is powerful. And when he gets positioned in the lane, he can go up and get it done. A nice shot by Teague. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. One heck of a game. I mean, guys, this has been outstanding in terms of the effort that both sides have been able to put up. I think over there, Steve, he's enjoying every second of the yes, park. Yeah, oh, me too. Man. This has been great, guys. And the fans getting their money's worth here. Both teams just playing so hard out there. Now T, after Aaron Brooks's three-pointer didn't go. T dishes to Kufus. Miami grabs the miss. Johnson's got his fourth rebound in this one. It's blocked. Butler. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Butler's got 12. Guys, he's acting. Oh, look out. Oh. He can fly, can he? He'll make you forget he's a point guard sometimes. Yeah, when he does decide to attack the basket, Kevin, he can do it with the best of them. And this is the time to attack with these two teams locked in such a close game. And the Heat call time here. So for the Hawks, Stola comes in for Tim Duncan. And Robert Covington subbed in for Kid Gilchrist. And Miami also making a switch. Nelson's checked in. Now, here is Nelson. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. The kick outside to Butler. Goes up from the top of the key. Miami no good on that time either. Boy, we don't see that too often. No defender on him, and he just clanks the open jumper. Well, if you remember early in Eric Spolster's head coaching career, when he was new and the big three were assembled, there were some people questioning Spolster's command, maybe even within the team. Those questions are long gone now. He has become an excellent head coach. Power down with both hands. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, Kevin. <laughs> I think some urgency from him there. Yeah, he's sensing this is a critical time in this game, guys. Hawks passing it around. Here's Scola. And the layup's good off the glass. Scola's got eight. Boy, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. They've got a battle inside. Well, this game has been tough, Clark. I mean, they're getting after it. And I think they're starting to run a little bit low on energy, possibly. Gets it to go from eight feet. He's got nine. He's been much more effective in the second half than he was in the first. Teague kicks to Covington. Trying to find Scola. He's got it now. Outside Teague. Tipped away. Kufus the best to Teague. And the three off target. He'd have gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6-13 from the field here in the third. And it's Johnson penetrating. Count that one. Johnson's got 13. He's created some good opportunities for himself and made the most of them. T kicks to Foy. Pulls up on the wing. And it's Miami with the rebound. Vucevic has got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. 
guy is a potent offense right now. Yeah, Kevin, really the offense is flowing.